Well, old trusty's hit the hay here. So there's something going on that's older than me. So we're gonna take that one off and we're gonna put this new guy on there. Pretty simple job. I had to move the compressor away from the wall so I could get to those unions, but two unions, one here, one here, undo it, did the bolts. So we'll get her off and get her on the operation table. Found a problem. She's dinked. There is some schmoo in there. So I got this new pump cleaned up as best I could. There's not a single drop of oil in it, which kind of scares me. But I can tell it's been apart because these head bolts here are a different color. or they're, The paint's peeled off them and there's different washers. One there, look at the size of that one. So they've either maintenanced it and kept it good or they want to take it apart to see what was the matter with it. But overall, I think it's going to be good. <laughs> Sounds like it has compression. Oh, that's a heavy one. Okay, so what I've done here is I've just made some temporary, or not temporary, permanent brackets here. Just out of some scrap that I found. Now, because the angle here, the angle iron, is too not wide enough for the bolt holes. Take a transfer punch, put that down there, punch it, and then now I'll use a hand drill to drill those out. And then when I get my welder out, I'll just weld these brackets on there solid. Just have the vice grips on there temporarily because it was leaning this way when I tightened the bolts. There it is. You can see it got the belt pretty well aligned. This arrow right here, the flywheel wants to spin and that would be a clockwise direction. However, the motor was on counterclockwise, so all you had to do is just switch the uh, two wires. There's a blue wire and a black and white wire. Just switch it, follow the directions. Um, I put a little bit of oil in here, so I just temporarily turned it on, so you can see. So it will work. Now, gotta get that to here. So I gotta do some pipe rigging here. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna come out, 90 down, and this union is going to fit together there and then come back in. So the idea is once all these threads get tightened in, that those that union's going to line up. So I'm putting a little T-tape on the threads here. I'm keeping it back one thread because there's a check valve on the compressor side and I don't want any pieces of thread to, or T-tape to come off in there. So I'm rolling the way I tighten it. And snap. And now you take the end of this and rip that through there. Got a little dope here. Little dab will do ya. That's all you need. Don't get this on your skin. It won't come off for a bit. Do as much as you can putting it together in the actual vise. Because then you don't have to struggle trying to put it together on the, on the compressor. Nothing's tighter and stripped. Well, I got that installed. Pipe's on a little bit of an angle there because that union sucked it together, but I didn't need any spacers on the top end. And uh, she works. I'm getting some good PSI here. I snooped all this. The check valve's working because otherwise this would be leaking right now. And actually, there's a pressure relief here for the head pressure anyways. So I'll drain the air here. Might take a little second, but you'll hear her click on. She comes on around 60 to the drive. There we go. She's a little bit quieter than the last one, which is nice. 